to another episode of Kim Yeyai Fashion. My name remains Kim and on today's episode is still another upcycle episode and I'll be upcycling my mom's dress again to create this lovely spaghetti strap halter neck dress. Sit back, relax and enjoy. So first of all, I'm going to start by tracing out my block and for this dress I'm going to be manipulating my bust dart to my waistline using the pivoting method. I'm then going to just connect my dart legs with my bust point. The next thing I'm going to do is to measure out my length. So my length is going to be 34 inches, 35 inches. That's my magic length for short dresses. So 35 inches and that's the entire length of my paper. Now to create my A line, I'm going to be increasing my waistline by an inch. And then I'm just going to use my ruler to connect from my bust to that extra inch that I've added and just draw a line straight down to the edge of my paper which will give me a nice A line. I'm going to then drop my armhole by one inch and on my neckline I'm just going to have half an inch that will be my halter and then I'll just connect that half inch with the one inch drop on my armhole to create my halter neckline. I'll then add my sewing allowances on my neckline and my side seam which is 0.5 inches. And to finish off the hem of my dress, I'm just going to be creating a nice subtle curve so that the edge of my dress doesn't have like an awkward pointed look. And finally from the front of my pattern, I'm just going to cut it out. Now for the back of my pattern, I'm basically going to do the same thing. I'm going to trace out the back of my block to the waistline. Now if you do not have this block, you can just check out. I'm just, I'm just going to drop a link in the description of how you can draft out this particular block. So what I'm doing is just marking my neck, back neck depth. And at first I went for 9 inches, but then I figured let me just make it 10 inches. I mean, there's nothing wrong with showing a little bit of back. So 10 inches is my back and neck depth and then on my armhole I'm dropping by one inch same thing that I did on the front of my pattern and then I'm just going to connect these two points and then on the side seam along the waistline I'm going to add about two inches also to create my A line now the A line I, I realized my fabric wasn't really in, enough because it was um, it's an upcycle dress so at the end of the day I had to just fold some of this um, some of the a line but then I, I figured if you have if you're buying your fabric you can pretty much just make it as wide as your fabric will allow you now i'm just going to be um, adding my 0.5 inch sewing allowance on the neckline and the side seams never forget to always mark your pattern so cb for center back cf for center front and on the back i'm also marking my green line So yeah, that's pretty much it for my patterns. The next thing I'm going to do is to cut my dress. So this is the dress that I'm going to be upcycling. It's a really nice accordion pleat fabric. Like I really love it. And when I realized she was going to like give it away or throw it out, I just figured, okay, it's still sort of new. So I picked it up and I decided to use it. Now the fabric has this really nice variation, which I'm going to be using to my advantage. So the parts with the bigger pleat is what I'm going to be using for the shorter um, flare A line on the dress, and then the parts with the smaller pleat, which is like the biggest, um, the the, should I say the major look or major chunk of the fabric is what I'm going to be using for the main dress. So starting off with my front, I'm just going to place it, and you can see that I already folded my paper, so I'm just placing it, and I'm going to just cut out my pattern. I seem to be missing my favorite paper weight, so um, I think one of my projects is going to be making paper weights. I probably might not record that, but um, I'm, I'm sure you soon see what I've done with the new paper weights. Okay. 
Okay, so while cutting my back, I realized I hadn't cut the shorter part for the front, so I'm going to do that separately, and I'm basically just going to do the same technique where I'll just place the shorter fabric right under the pattern, and then I'm just going to cut it from there. So while we're waiting for me to finish cutting off my pattern, <laughs> make sure that if you haven't followed the channel yet please do so and just check out our other videos um if you if you have any comments if you have any suggestions please drop them um, um it's pretty is it's a pretty new channel so i would really love any feedback that i can get from you guys watching but if you haven't subscribed please do so okay so now i have my front and my back pieces cut out and i'm going to start off by sewing my shorter pieces first so i'm going to pin them together um, by the side seams and i'm going to overlock them before sewing by my 0.5 inches and i'll do the same thing for the main part of the dress Okay, so these are my pieces overlocked and um, sewn and because they are accordion pleats, they have the tendency of getting really wide. So what I'm going to do to just make sure that I stabilize my fabric is to cut um, tiny pieces of haste which is interfacing and then I'm going to just iron out my edges. I'm just going to iron my edges with the interfacing which is going to help stabilize the fabric and I'm going to be using this satin to make straps for my dress. So here are my pieces with the interfacing ironed at the edges of my neckline. This is going to help me a lot when it comes to sewing. Um, I also have bias strips that I have cut from the satin which, is, which I'm going to be using to serve as my spaghetti strap. So I'm just going to fold it into two, sew and then just leave a tunnel where I can use to just push out and turn this, um, these, these straps. So if you have a loop it will really help but if you do not have a loop you can just look for like really nice slim metal that you can use to achieve this um for me it's not a loop i just have this really nice metal <laughs> that i'm using to be able to turn out my straps so my strap is ready i'm going to iron it out and i'm going to cut two pieces for my spaghetti strap these are going to be 15 inches long each The next thing I'm going to be doing is to attach my straps to the bigger piece of my dress before I come to, um, to join with the smaller piece and then just finish off my neckline. Oh by the way, if you haven't followed me on IG, you can do so at KimiaiNG so you can see my handwork, what I do or you can just follow at K Fashion Institute where I drop regular updates on fashion tutorials and when I drop new videos. So I've pinned my straps to my neckline and then I'm going to be pinning them also to the back of my dress and before I, and to do that I'm going to be marking 3 inches from my side seam to pin my first strap and I'll do the same thing for the second strap 3 inches from the side seam. So after pinning all the straps, I'm going to go to my sewing machine, sew over them and then come back and attach the second piece of my dress. So I have my straps nicely sewn down. Next thing I'm going to be doing is to attach my, the second piece of my dress at the neckline. Don't forget that pins are Taylor's best friend, so please use as much pins as possible to just hold those things down so that it will make your sewing process much easier, especially for fabrics that are flowy and fabrics that are light. Oh, 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 oh,
then after pinning my neckline together, I'm just going to go to my sewing machine and sew round with my 0 0.5 inch sewing allowance. Now here's my dress, I've sewn the neckline and it's beginning to take shape, it's beginning to look really cute. Yes, like I'm looking so, I'm so looking forward to wearing this. Um, so I'm going to just, just for finishing touches, I'm going to be um, under stitching on the neckline so that I just have like a really neat finish. And for the hemlines, um, for the hemlines, I'm going to just overlock them. So here's my dress done. Yes, um, I've understitched the neckline. It's, it has this really nice finish. Um, you won't see anything poking out. Um, overlocking, um, overlocking accordion piece is like it is like one of my favorite things because it has this really nice fishy. I don't know how to describe it. It looks like fish scales when you do it. So it's, it has like a really nice look to it. So yeah, my dress is done. Um, my halter neck dress is done. It's been a minute since I wore a halter neck anything. So like I'm super excited to wear this lady. Ladies and gentlemen, her. <laughs> so yeah, this is the dress. It looks so cute. I am really obsessed about this hemming. Um, this overlocking. Uh, I, I know it's something little but I really, really, really like it. And uh, this is the dress. She looks really cute. She looks really proper. I really can't wait to wear it and I promise I'll wear it, take pictures and disturb you on social media. I promise this one, I promise. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to tune in next time. Bye.